Hi guys, I wanted to update you on what I'm seeing here. We had the 27th, um, which was our crossroads. And that was Jesus at the cross. That was our crossroads, okay? We kept hearing that in three days, I will rebuild this temple. In three days, I will rebuild this temple. So we're looking at April 30th now and May 1st guys. This is where we're at, obviously. Um, this is important because it's going to match up with September 30th. So today's timeline, April 30th, matches up with September 30th, 2022, which was a significant day because it was the day of retirement. Now, if you've been with me a long time, you understand that word retirement has been added to our word uh, witness, record, testimony, memory, withdraw, and with and retire. Um, all of those words are connected by etymology. And it's a beautiful word, all of those words. We also have down here that this is ascend because this is the end of our calendar, and it would match up with Jesus when he ascended to heaven 40 days after the cross, okay? So that's also related to this time period, guys, right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this looks on the other calendar. I'm sorry, I see that this one's a little blurry, but stick with me here. Okay, so I want you then to look at the Day of Remembrance, which is Memorial, Withdraw, Retire, Memory, Witness, Testimony. It's all Testament. It's all of those words. And we have that written here, the Day of Remembrance. It, May of 2012, the Spirit had said to me very audibly, it will happen on Memorial Day. And that's why those words are so, so important. So the day of remembrance is four. And we've been looking at this spoke on our calendar for a long time. We've seen it as 410. We've seen it as 104. We've seen it as 420 because of the two X's. But now, if we look again with fresh eyes on this side, guys, we have an X, which is 10, a 10, which is 10, and an X, which is 10, which would make the Day of Remembrance 430. Now, again, 430 matches up with 930, which is the Day of Remembrance because it's the Day of Retirement. And retire and withdraw, and memory are all uh, connected by etymology, okay? So we have a definite 430 that we are looking at for the Day of Remembrance. Okay. Also, guys, the I had 427 highlighted on the other clock. That was our crossroads. 427. But if you look at this folk here, we have 927 written. 427 and 927 match up on our calendar, on our graph calendar, okay? And 927 was the day of the cross. Then we go 928, 929, 930 is right here. Um, which would be 430. So we have a 430 here and we have a 430 here. It's on this spoke right here, 930 guys, that we have an, another X, okay, which is important. It's 930 and 102 are written on this spoke. 102 is the first time we had an X class solar flare and that matched up with um, Mercury, Mercury's retrograde. And so that was a significant day for us because that was the first time um, our, our time started to sink. So we have an X. I wrote an X here because 102 
which is on the same spoke as 930, was our first syncing with the X-Class solar flares. Okay, now we have synced many times with the X-Class solar flares and the sympathetic flares. We've been watching those work like clockwork, okay? So very important, especially because this says fusion above it, and fusion happens in the sun. And so we've been watching the sun for its X-class solar flares, okay? Then, guys, now, if you look at the calendar with fresh eyes, I've drawn in the blue and the red over here. And what's being highlighted definitely for me is also May 1st. Now, May 1st is significant because um, we have videos called May Day, May Day from May of 2021. And we have this, the day, May Day, May 1st is the day of the Maypole which is the day of the May Queen. And uh, the day of the May Queen is, to me, it's always the staircase, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. It's just a spring clean for the May Queen. Um, it's the first time I ever heard that term, the May Queen. Okay. So Stairway to Heaven <laughs> is the idea I get with May 1st. We also have a picture of that May Maypole the May Queen Maypole on May 1st, and that is Jonah, the dove, coming up out of the belly of the whale. We have a picture of that one. Uh, the dove coming up out of the be belly of the whale, okay? But so you see it highlighted as 5-1 here, right? May 1st. Uh, the blue color to me is our glimpse of heaven, okay? But now look at this spoke with different eyes, with fresh eyes, guys. And you will see that 311 equals 5. So 5-1. Five, 5-311 five, one, one equals 5-5-1. Five, five, five has the fission written above it. Okay, so... Suffice it to say that these days, 4.30 and 5.1, are showing up very, very strongly on the calendar. Um, that's all I want to say because I know they're significant. We don't know how they look until hindsight. Okay? So... Be aware, very significant time. I think it's a beautiful, glorious time. I This would be my ninth day in prison today, guys. <laughs> Remember, I'm going through my Revelation 2.10, um, and I'm supposed to get out a day early for good behavior. So very significant time period we're in. I'll keep you posted, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And one more thing, sorry. I always have one more thing, so I hope you watch to the end. Um, this today, the 30th, is also the day that Moses uh, parted the red, here it is, red sea. Um, parting the red sea today. And it, I think it's, thought of as seven days after the Passover. But <clears throat> remember the night of the Passover, the, the Israelites didn't flee Egypt until the next day. So it would have been the 23rd and then uh, of April. And then 23 plus seven days equals April 30th. So today was probably the day in history. Um, that Moses was parting the Red Sea, which I think is very significant here. Coming up out of the abyss, coming up out of the lake of fire is how we say it. 
Okay. See you in the next one.